This is my highest CC team on KR. And today I'm going to be showing you all the ways to increase your CC on global to get teams maybe similar like this in the future, right? Maybe not exactly, but I'll give you guys the tricks, show you guys how to increase your CC and how to get your first unit to 60k, which I'm going to guess will be Mars, right? So let's go over to global to really start off and make this more comprehensible for everyone. But obviously, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do for your units is level them up, right? Get them up, get them to uh, UR, LR, get them up to 80, get them up to 90. If you're starting an account, maybe don't push for that 100 because it takes a lot of XP the last 10. But once you start getting later on, once you have everything unlocked, once you, ha once you have your units built, then you could start maybe getting it to the 100. And you're going to see that leveling does actually do a quite a lot, especially promoting and ranking up. So, of course, ranking up, you got to use four mage pieces. And then for promoting, you have to get them to level four in the bond and then level 10 to promote them to LR. So we could do it here. This is the screen. And then they are the next rank. And just that is free CC right there. Look at that intro. So that's an extra 1000 CC just like that. So yeah, no, those three leveling up, ranking and promoting obviously are all things that you kind of need to do for everyone, but it's definitely worth it. Now, next up, and obviously just obvious, not even just worth it. I'm just saying it's like kind of obvious you have to level up your units. Now, anyway, the next one is going to be leveling up your skills. So over here, you're going to be able to level up your skills. Now, every time you level up a skill, you are going to be getting basically 30 to 35 CC per time you level up your skill which means you could get a decent bit right like 120 here 120 here 120 here that's almost like 500 if we count the combo if the combo is good of course you have to max it out and it's very little cc but it's little things that build up over time because what four units with an extra four or five hundred that could almost be two thousand extra cc if we're really counting that they leveled up all the skills right now obviously this is just going to make your units stronger in general some skills are really strong to get up uh, for example, I'm pretty sure Williams giving the extra mobility activation rate up to 100% chance, right? That one is huge. Asta just getting the pretty good numbers. Oh, same. Then I'll to do that. Same for Yami, right? Getting 20% on that. And then obviously Charlotte getting the guaranteed mark at level 4. So all that are like skills that just help out in the long run and give the CC. Now, next up, it is going to be your skill pages. So every time you dupe a skill page, uh, a dupe an SSR skill page at least, it's going to be giving 300 CC. So I guess we could quickly do that on KR just to kind of show it to you because I have a bunch of dupes that are just lying around. Um, let's do a Nozal one because I'm never really going to use it. Am I not allowed to? Okay, I, I don't know. but All right, so here you're going to see that should give an extra 300. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Let me go on the unit and then do it right there. Okay, so if I go here, dupe it out, you're going to see 300cc increase on the bottom, or you should. There, there you go, 300cc increase per SSR dupe. Now, it is better though if we count, and in total, an SSR max duped is going to be giving you, if I go to, let's say, Noel, like, no, I don't have Noel's, I have, okay, let's say this one. So, a SSR max duped is going to be giving you 3,000. So that is kind of how you should look at it. And of course, every month you're able to get one through the shop for the uh, unfeatured SSR skill pages. So that is something. But if we're considering a non-duped skill page, right? Something like this. And we're considering a max duped SR skill page. The SR skill pages will be giving more. So non-duped is 1,500. Max duped SSR is 3,000. Is 3, then a max duped uh, SR is 12, 2,400. And then a zero dupe SR is 1200 i'm pretty sure so that's how you should look at it max duped skill page if you really just want a cc push and you don't have any other ways then you could just go for that but i don't really recommend it but obviously to start farming dispatch that is one of the things you could do right and on kr we have universal skill page dupes that have come to the game with one of the future raids that you guys should be getting in three season three or four so yeah that was skill pages then of course duping your units let's go back over since we're done there and talk about duping your units so Duping your units on dupe 2 and 5 is going to be giving you passives. And if you see here on the left, the CC increase that gives the most is on dupe 2 and 5 because passives give you CC. So 
the ones that you want to aim for if you're really going for dupes is either stopping a two or five now what's also special about dupe four and five is that they usually get an extra stat increase on every single unit so dupe four and five give the most with dupe four giving the dupe uh, sorry dupe five giving the dupe passive of level five and also the extra stats so you're getting everything in this one now there are certain stats that could give a lot more where noelle is getting like a thousand more cc for her dupe four and five because she has crit resistance on a two so there's little things like that and dupes in general though will give you like four thousand five thousand max well no 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 like three thousand if we're really no no like three thousand to four thousand and like someone like noel is getting more like five thousand so yeah dupes can give a lot though but overall they are going to increase your just character's uh performance where now they especially for seasonals and new pickups i'm not sure about the midnight sun they've made it to where their dupe five on jp became the dupe two and they added an extra part to the dupe five before this was five percent before this was only ten percent but now they also added the extra sp so yami did become a lot better with that right now next up is going to be gear gear is by far the most important part and i do want to get to talking about this a bit but i do want to go over to kr to me kr just it's a lot better so we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about now overall you will not really be getting more cc if you have the three two sets or the one four set because you're still losing out on one whole piece if you're running the four set so it's not really giving you more Technically, like the amount of CC per piece is giving you more, but in general, you're not getting more CC because of the fact that we have one extra piece over here. So I hope that does make sense. And now let's talk about it. So the way it works usually is that tanks will have a built-in amount more of CC. That's just how it is. Mars is at 76k because he's a tank and he has high defense. It does seem to me like defense gives the most amount because of the fact that we could... Well, also yeah okay we could say that uh defense and hp do give the most so that's kind of how they built it to where you want to build tanks a lot more than other people it's just easier if we go to the rankings and we check everything and you look at the top it's a three tank team okay three tank team three tank team three tank team three tank team two tank team two tank team three tank team okay two tank team so it's it's tanks right it is tanks tanks give the most when you build them with their defense pieces so the way that it's going to work i just wanted to give that little info and we're going to talk about it in the different cases is that you want to build off of one stat mainly for attack or um, just defense right whatever and you're going to basically do that by giving it the most amount of flat stats and also substats but mainly substats so substats will be very good because of the fact that it could way more increase than flat stats by like a 1000% more than flash stats if we're being really considerate here because I've got a 7.45% magic attack where that could give me a thousand extra magic where flat stats could give me a fucking 100 right so it's just a lot more different and percentages will be better so you want to try chasing for substats once you've gotten to, to that point in the game once you've gotten all your lrs once you stop worrying about main stats to start worrying about substats and then accessories right because substats with the main four the main four that give the most stats is defense magic attack and magic attack and attack and then hp now besides that if you have a crit unit i've seen that depending on the person crits could either give a lot or very little so if we check here right this is a bad example but okay it's it's hard to find it but sometimes crits will be giving a lot if your if your crits are high if not it could be very low and it does depend on a few other things like the substats on the accessory pieces stuff like that that i've seen but crit of resistance will be giving a lot the reason why we could observe this is because usually on the dupe uh where is it the dupe four we get about 300 cc 300 to 400 cc here we're getting 1300 because of this crit resistance same stats as before but it gets an extra thousand cc for 12 crit resistance so crit res is going to be one of the substats that you should be chasing on units because it is very very strong okay now let's say for someone like radis he doesn't even have that much defense right he has what like two times the dps a bit less but it's just that his stats are very good even with hp he just has high base CC because of the fact he's a tank, like every other tank in the game. It's just much easier, which means, oh my god, Black Asta is going to have high CC. Holy shit. 
Okay, I'm a hey man. If I can make that 70k CC showcase, I'm ready. Because look, I got 67 on the wall. So if we look at it here, right? On Rodas, I built a magic attack. And just because he has high stats in general, he will be chilling for that. And it's not even the fact that I like he has a lot of M attack, even though he does have a pretty good bit, right? This was more than my season two Noel showcase back in June, right? So that's that. But in general, it's all because of his other stats that he is this high, right? Um, but yeah, tanks just have higher stats for defense and HP, which if we look, right, she has 50k HP, he has an extra 35k, so as you can tell, the main four do give the most amount of stats in this game, so it's the main four that you're going to want to push if you are pushing for CC, okay, that is the thing. Now let's talk about accessories. So accessories, if you're really pushing the CC, the best ones to give are, that, are just... The defense okay defense gives the most but like a piece like this for example has really good substats with the crit damage so it's very worth it but it's only giving 850 i feel like i could probably find something else that's almost giving more not for her though but if we're looking to someone like mars right for defense right on a defender i have this piece 33 percent also has some extra uh, defense and hp percent which is huge it's giving me six thousand cc okay if i were to get a better piece like this is giving 4k it could give another like one or 2k i like it'd be able to push me up to a lot higher and you do want to upgrade these because you want to get the substats you could get lucky with substats get the defense rolls or in this case unlucky the magic attack and that i'm probably gonna end up unlucky i'm gonna probably put it on rodas because i don't think he has a magic oh yeah no not like that not like that so there's something like this right gives him an extra 300 so that's a big w so it's definitely getting the best amount of substats uh not substats accessories that have of course the percentages you want to have the percentages of defense and then crits for dps's will not give as much as defense which is just a bit sad but it is what it is right but that's just how it is i mean crits can give a lot but usually you will see that defense is giving more just because it's one of the main four. Like, okay, I'll, I'll explain this again. I like to categorize the different uh, stats in the game by four different rules. The main stats, okay. Um, the uh, penetration, okay. The blocking with accuracy. So blocking with accuracy and then the crits, okay. So crits, pen slash endurance. Then you got blocking with accuracy and then the main four that's how it is okay so the main four are definitely the ones that give the most stats and then it's followed up by um crit defense which is with the crits and then you could just consider the crits in general and then the rest doesn't really uh, give as much right so that's how it is gear is definitely the most important part as you can see it's giving her 26k but then you look at someone like mars it's giving him 31k right just from gear alone so it's very important it's really really important now we could go back over to global since we're done with basically all of that and then talk about talents so you will see that you will have access to basically choose two talents and there will only be those two talents applied and it will be when you go into the battle you will see if you click on the like unit uh, icon on the bottom it will present to you all of the passives and this will be part of all the passives these do not apply before you go in but if you choose if you finish the circle these will so william has 120 base speed with zero dupes but at the moment he's at 123 so building up not only these two right building up these two but also building up the full slots for certain people to get the extra talent slot talent carved stone in the middle is what you should do for certain people and especially people if you're trying to get for extra cc if we go to my kr account right i have full full okay full things built for many of the people especially my dps right got all three okay then i've got um all three for radas i think i have all three for uh, julius too do i i i, I don't have a build because i was he doesn't have that much cc or compared to others mainly because of the fact that i don't have his skill page duped but yeah so you will see i have a lot of uh the maxed out because you want to get it over time it is very important now the amount of cc you get per talent you unlock is 350 so in total this is giving 350 350 so 700 700 700 so this is giving 2100 and then when you get the extra uh carved dupe stones or uh, just stones in the middle that's going to be giving more now the way i want to also show you this is that currently he's at 76k and he has it, it, these in the middle do affect defense by the way uh he has 30k 32.2k okay 30.2k and when i take it off right he is going to be at 28k so it gives more than 1.2k because if we took out 1.2k he'd be at 9, 29k he got 2.2k removed because of the fact of his substats so it goes to show that substats also do increase where 12k became almost double because of substats okay 
just wanted to point that out. Um, so yeah, it does give a lot and it shows how much it adds. But in terms of CC, let me just recheck that. But you went from 76, I, I didn't see. You went from uh, 76 down to 73.8. So especially on defenders, adding the defense and all that is going to be very important. Now, the ways that you get them is going to be, well, for right now, you could get some in here in talents right but you will also be presented them in the future in certain events that are currently not out on uh global for the most part so you can't really get them you could buy them sure in the paint shop but that's really it you will see some events sometimes here that will allow you to get them the purple talent stones uh it's going to be with the talents and then there's also going to be future events like the tower of spire that's going to be allowing you to click a plus a pick a plus two speed which is one of the best ones now speed does not give a lot of cc in itself but in terms of combat it is definitely the best so these are all the things that help me increase my cc looking how to build a unit is definitely we'll look at this part the last it's going to be basically their highest stats that's how i like to look at it especially for dps I would recommend going to Pride One. I think I have it linked below, but if not, just search up uh, Pride One and you're set. Go into like, if you go to DPS, see which DPS have the most magic attack and then build off a of magic attack so that the substats being 5% will scale much higher considering the base magic attack is higher. Then you go to attack and see which attackers are higher. Then you could go to defenders, see who has high defense, see who has high HP being Vettel. So you might want to build Vettel more with HP than defense, right? That's how I would recommend looking at it, see what stats they have high and overall, attackers and defenders do usually give the most supporters sometimes have high hp but it still won't be that worth it the uh, debuffers i don't really see you using it too much but it can be possible because i mean hey someone in top 10 of uh, cc rankings on kr did use summer noel not summer halloween noel which is a debuffer so you know stuff like that so yeah that's basically my cc guide i hope this made sense right passives do give a lot as we saw through the dupes right so all that stuff i hope is clear um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace